Hello everyone and thank you for watching. On today's trip, I'll be with my dad, Fred, and my cousin, Ken. It's his first time in my boat today, so I'll be going over boat safety checks with him and also get him familiarized with my boat and how to operate them. So feel free to skip the video to 450 if you'd like to watch the Hollywood action right away. Thank you. Good morning, Berkeley. Can I get a radio check, please? Thank you. All right, guys, we're here, Berkeley Marina. We're about to launch in Berkeley. We have a new guest today. We're gonna targeting Hollywood. You guys know my dad, Fred. Hi, Fred. Hi. All right. My cousin, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi. Targeting Hollywood today. First, first timer for Ken, so we might go through a, a safety briefing, boat safety briefing with Ken, uh, just so to get him familiarized with our safety, boat safety and, and the, the boat itself. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you. So hopefully you find this useful as I like to give my new passenger a, a safety briefing uh, before we enjoy the day. Uh, also on this video, you would notice uh, we are doing a safety check after we actually exited the jaw of the Berkeley uh, due to the fact that it's so busy in the boat launch today and, and we don't want to really cause traffic. But I highly recommend you do a safety briefing before launching the boat and, and before uh, proceeding to your destination. So stay tuned and thank you guys. Feel free to pause this video to uh, review this checklist I created and please don't forget to refer to US Coast Guard required equipment website uh, for more details. Thank you. So here we are arriving to our destination. I'll be showing my cousin Ken on how to operate the boat and, and we're going over the, the briefing, uh, safety briefing of the actual boat. As you could see here, I'm taking out my lanyard, my safety engine cutoff switch. Uh, I highly recommend for you to use that every time you're going and heading out and going back and, and if, every time you operate the boat. Um, also reminding him that uh, today kind of a tough uh, windy day so always watch where you're going and always hold on and watch your balance. Also here where I'm showing him where are the flotation which is the throwable flotation uh, so it's available in the bow area uh, always ready to throw out if somebody fall overboard and also to point to the person whoever fall and never lose up that uh, that person never lose sight uh, here I'm showing him where's the fire extinguisher uh, the ditch bag which contains a flare flashlight uh, horn and <clears throat> and medical uh, uh, first aid kit and also manual bilge pump how I show him how to use it and, and in case we needed it uh, uh, next one will be the sensitive area which is the engine area uh, be careful with the snag especially the hooks uh, be careful with the hydraulic system and the fuel line so that's one of the most sensitive area also here I'm showing him how the engine operate uh, letting him know it's just a car on and off switch with a uh, with a key throttle is forward neutral and reverse uh, and to be gentle with the action of it and and it steers like a steering wheel and letting him know it's a uh, rear steering so so be mindful of that uh, and also showing him uh, how the VHF radio work, uh, which is channel 16 for U.S. Coast Guard and uh, star, uh, channel 69 for <clears throat> San Francisco Bay. So kind of like showing him how, how to use that properly. Uh, so, so he's a familiar already with the radio. Uh, showing him as well with my EPER, which is the personal locator, locator beacon device uh, that is on me and we only use that for life and death situation. So thank you for watching and let's go fishing. Fish on, quick head and fish on. Okay. 
step forward nice pero mukha maliit maliit alright okay let's see dito hawa Ah, short. Huh? Short. Short. Yeah. See how 22? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Let's go. Very, very. Dang. See? Very. Yeah. Relief. Yeah, let's go. All right, no skunk. Yeah, quick in it. High five. Yeah. Nice! High five, D! High five! High five! High five. High five. Yeah! Keeper, keeper. Mark. Mark. Nice! Man, I'm supposed to let my dad reel this in, but the excitement, I forgot about it. Close. Yeah. 20, uh, 26. 26 and a half. 26 and a quarter. Okay, 26 quarter. Yeah, we got a keeper. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That is on. Doon kayo pagpunta kayo, punta kayo kuya kayo na yan. Yeah! Dad got the first one! Yeah! High five dad! High five dad! Boom! Boom! Oh, that looks like a... It's gonna be a close one. here right here they want oh yeah 24 24 and a quarter yeah daddy yeah, yeah. yeah. got his keeper that got my that got his first keeper after four years of hibernation hibernation mode yeah Rope. Fish on.
All right, Dad. Yeah. I I falling from up in it. Malakas? Ah, relax lang kayo basta ano, fight the fish. Eh, pag ibig sabihin ng malakas, malaki 'yan. Mhm. Mm Keep it. Fight the fish. Yes. Let him, let him get tired. Okay, move to the right, daddy. Move to your right. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Might be close. Might be close, dad. Good job, Dad! High five! Bam! Boom! I can see one man, I know, but I think I could borrow your, uh... Uh... Driver? Yeah. I think it's gonna be close, Dad. Do we have a bite? Yeah, no, 20, 21, 21 and a half, Dad. Fish on. Yeah. Basta relax chill lang, relax ka lang. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Not a shaker from for Ken. Here's what I learned from my friend Eric. Always hold hold them right here on the dimple by the belly and it calms them down. Two and a half, finally, he's been getting shakers. Yeah, woohoo! Nice. All right, so by the way, guys, this is my cousin Ken. We used to go flying, he used to take me go flying in a, in a Cessna, Cessna 150, 172. 172. So he took me my first flying experience was when I was 18 or 17 years old I did not tell my parents that I'm going with him uh, so I told him right after <laughs> so now we're giving him a tour uh, for San Francisco Bay and uh, he got to captain this boat today so he gets to learn how how it feels boating in South, uh, San Francisco Bay so Instead of flying, so I'm, I'm giving him a lesson today instead of him giving me a flying lesson today. And my dad, Fred, finally, he finally got his first uh, first Hollywood after after a few years after uh, uh, 
pre-COVID. Pre Actually, pre-COVID and and ever since they closed down the Berkeley Pier. So he was there every day. So if you are a Berkeley Pier uh, person or fisherman over there, you probably seen him around. Uh, and the nice. Nice. Dad, what's your uh, what's your uh, personal best uh, Hollywood size and how many? I, I got a one season and where is 62. Oh, 62. And the biggest is 42. 42 inch. inches. All right, there it is. That's uh, the biggest that I do. Okay, 67. The best season you have a 62 Hollywood and 42 inches. 2004. Nice. If only the pier is going to close and it's still uh, uh, open for the pier for fishing, maybe I'm not in the boat. I, I prefer uh, the pier. Is it to catch Hollywood and the pier? Just the protest. All right. So, so he was saying it's easier to catch Hollywood in the pier. Until yeah, so cool, cool. But uh, he's getting used to the boat. You know, he's captaining this boat, uh, this boat too. Sometimes, even today. So, so he's getting used to it. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, Meron. Feel it, just feel it slowly. Keeper right there. Nice and beautiful. Look at that. Woo! Good job, Dad. Dad, peace bump. Boom. My dad is on fire today. Wow, you got it on the treble treble hook. We got three, no one's going home without one. Right. Yeah. It right here to calm them down we gotta hold it right here right here lose the map pull them here it calms them down there you go 26 nice 26 again 26 Wait, that 26.
Oh, look at that. He's already dropping. Oh, man. He, he went three today. He went three. 